Hello Aquarius, how's it going? I hope you're super well. My name is Madam Butterfly and this is going to be a love reading Aquarius for like beginning to mid-October. But it is timeless Aquarius, so whenever you happen to get it, it's when you were meant to get it. Thank you so much for being here with me. You are so welcome here and if you feel like uh, liking and subscribing, you know, if the reading resonates with you, I'd appreciate that a lot. Okay, mm, spirit. So, um, also a quick note: I'm not taking personal readings at the moment, Aquarius. Okay, spirit. So, oh my god. Okay. Oh my god. Well, well, well. Those are some nice cards. See the seven of pentacles sticking out here. So, <laughs> alrighty, Rue. Um. Oh, that's a nice start to the reading. You have the Seven of Pentacles, the Four of Wands, and the Ten of Pentacles. So you have a commitment coming in here. Something very solid. Uh, it looks like you've been waiting on this for a while with the Seven of Pentacles. Wow. Hot damn, Aquarius. <laughs> Good for you. Okay. Um, well, it looks like it's going to be one of those readings. I'm not getting my Celtic cross. You know I like my Celtic cross spirit. Why do you do these things to me? Where's the order? <laughs> okay, what have we got here? Okay, so there was a long time, right? Seven of Pentacles clarified by the devil. You've been waiting for this for a long time, okay? Maybe you thought it was never coming. Could be a Capricorn. You could be waiting for a Capricorn. Um. Yeah, I feel the time has been a bit of a bugbear here, but you're getting some communication. You have the, the Ten of Pentacles clarified by the Eight of Wands. Free flowing, fast moving communication. Look at that, you have the Four of Wands clarified by the Ten of Cups, Aquarius. <laughs> what the hell? So there's death. Look at that, you have six cards out and you have the Ten of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups and the Four of Wands. That is wild. Um, for some of you guys, you might know this person from work. You have the Eight of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Right. You have the Five of Swords showing up here. So let's see why that's coming up. This is beautiful though. Okay, whatever else comes out in this reading, Aquarius, you have... It looks like someone that you've been waiting on for a long time. It doesn't have to be a specific person. You could have just been super single for a long time. Um, and maybe you were starting to get really annoyed by the weight. But either way, there's someone coming in here, you have a commitment. Um, eight of Wands, fast flowing communication. Right, why is that Five of Swords there, please? Why is that Five of Swords there, please, Spirit? Empress, right? There's something here about you walking away from something because it was time for you to get into this Empress energy. Okay, male or female? Like whether you are male or female um, or you identify with the Divine Feminine or not. It was so you could get into this Empress energy here. Some of you might have walked away from a Libra some of you might have walked away from a Taurus. Um, but there was something like, if this is someone you already know, you had to walk away from this person so you, that you could become your Empress energy. Like, so you could become the Divine Feminine. So you could grow. So you could move into a period of, like, move into self-love and recognize your own self-worth. Because it looks like it just wouldn't have worked before. like when you weren't in this Empress energy. Because there's something very free-flowing about your energy now. And you'll notice as well, Six of Swords at the bottom of the deck here. So, see so you have the Five of Swords. Sorry, I know that's not in focus. You have the Five of Swords and then the Six of Swords. 
So there's like, you walked away from something that was not healthy at the time, moved into this empress energy of growth, self-love, abundance, and now with this, you've, you've moved into the Six of Swords, which is like free-flowing, harmonious, like moving into calmer waters, you know? Because the Five of Swords is like conflict, mental, you know, you know, mental mind games, like this kind of thing. All right, who's this person coming in? Well, in fact, let's see, what, what, um, yeah, let's, okay. It's a wish fulfillment. Two of cups here as well. Six of wands, um, it looks like it's gonna be someone quite dynamic with the six of wands, could be a fire sign. In fact, I'm gonna put this down here. Um, yeah, it could be a fire sign. This is delayed news that's coming in now. I feel you've been waiting on this news for a while, actually. I feel like, yeah. It's definitely a new, it's either a new love coming in or it's a new phase in the relationship. It's a soulmate though. This person's a wish fulfillment. Could be another Aquarius that you're dealing with. But there's this soulmate energy. You're some beautiful cards here, Aquarius. Like, good God. The star card can also be a reconciliation. Let's try and find out if you know this person or not. It might not be an extended for this one today, Aquarius. I'll see um, how much we get out in this. So tell us about this new person that's coming in, or tell, about, tell us about this person that's coming in for Aquarius. All right, you have it safe for you to love again. So you might have been resisting letting new people in or just resisting people coming in. It's definitely a soulmate. Okay, who else? Tell us more about this person for Aquarius, please. Oh, that's too many. Tell me more about this person. They, they, you have, they put you on a pedestal here. So this person really, really likes you. Definitely a soulmate connection. You have, you changed the way I think. So you might have been waiting for this person to grow up. I really feel like you already know this person, I gotta be honest with you. You have, you changed the way I think. I feel like this is somebody coming back. I feel like this is somebody coming back around. Whoa, leveling up for you. Oh, sorry, I don't want to get my face on camera because there's no makeup on it and uh, trust me, you don't want to see that. I don't want to scar you. <laughs> um, you have leveling up for you. So it kind of looks like this person's been away from you and now they're coming back. You don't have a lot of signs here so far. I mean, there's kind of a... You have Capricorn, you have Aquarius. You have Libra or Taurus. You have, I think about you all the time. I'm just gonna get one more of these and then I'm gonna get back into the tarot. This is a bit of a random reading, Aquarius. So like there might, like I was saying, there might not be uh, an extended for this one. You have, I'm coming back. So this is someone you already know. Okay, very nice. But they're gonna make you very happy because honestly there's so many happy cards here like if this was someone you didn't want to be with all these beautiful this beautiful energy would not be here because this ace of cups is something new it's like a new phase or a new love and the star card is a wish fulfillment it is a reconciliation card but look at this this is beautiful this is someone that you want to be with okay What's this? Five of Wands clarifying the Five of Swords. Okay, so before, when you guys knew each other before, 
there was either a lot of conflict or this person refused to give you their all. Do you know what I mean? Like, because that five of wands is either conflict or it's things were very up in the air, you know, so this person could have been kind of in and out or you never got a straight answer from this person. Okay, clarify the Empress, please. Clarif uh, clarify the Empress. I cannot wait until Mercury retrograde is. Oh my God, I can't even talk. <laughs> Look at that. Okay, this is, uh, this is a beautiful reading, Aquarius. You have the Empress clarified by the mini Empress. <laughs> This is some reading, you know, the, the Nine of Pentacles is like the, the mini empress. They're both about self-esteem and self-worth because I feel you just couldn't see your own worth before. There could have been some codependency also. That's what they just put in my head with this devil card here. This could be codependency, like maybe before, maybe you kind of elevated this person up before or something and it was like necessary for you to go away and get get self-esteem and get your self-worth because there's something here about like you just weren't able to see it before like your own worth and with the, the wheel of fortune is it's it's something to do with divine timing in this connection all right clarify that six of swords please <laughs> ace of swords so the six of swords clarified by the ace of swords so there's there's a breakthrough here there's a new beginning moving into like much more calm much more peaceful times clarify the five of wands please it's quite a lot of spirit clarify that five of wands please Okay, there's there was definitely some ick energy between you guys before you have the five of wands here with the nine of swords. So whatever this was, it caused you a lot of anxiety before. I feel like it was just right. You might have like bickered a lot, but I feel it was quite up in the air. You know, you just. There was maybe an element of like, you walked away from this earlier. Because I just think it wasn't the right time. You know, I feel like this person wasn't giving you a straight answer or they had something else going on or something like that. But there was a lot of anxiety this person caused you before or the connection caused you before. But it looks like it's going to work out here. I've got to be honest. I mean, like I said before, because I know there's going to be people listening to this going, oh my god, it's my, it's, it's my hideous ex. She's talking about my, my disgusting ex that murdered my family. But no, like this is beautiful energy. So it's not going to be, this, this is not going to be something that's been really bad. I feel like it was bickering, you know, or you just couldn't quite see eye to eye or it just wasn't the right time or you just couldn't connect properly before. I don't feel like it was anything big, you know? I feel, more than anything else, I don't think it's an ex. I feel like it's something that never quite got off the ground before for some reason. Okay, clarify that. Um, well, is there anything else you want Aquarius to know about this connection, please? What else would you like Aquarius to know about this connection, please? Wheel of Fortune. This is divine timing. This is fated because especially it's coming out under the two empresses here. You were supposed to get into this energy of self-love and like fulfillment and feeling good about yourself. It's all been about divine timing. I cannot believe the cards you've got here, honestly. These are so beautiful. 
this is a happy ever after. For some of you, it could be a twin flame. You have the four of wands. It's a twin flame card. But this is something really, really beautiful coming in. It's definitely your soulmate or a soulmate, you know. Um, and give me one more card, please. What else would you like Aquarius to know about this person? Or about, what would you like Aquarius to know about this connection, please? Queen of Cups. There was something here about There's something here about sensitivity because there's, there's the Queen of Cups with the Strength card. So there's like, let me just clarify that Queen of Cups. Why is the Queen of Cups there, please? There's something here about balance with that Queen of Cups and the Seven of Swords. Like, I feel there was something here about you learning to put yourself first. Because that is the energy of the Queen of Cups. You know, it's someone like she, she's very, very sweet, but she can get kind of taken advantage of. You know, sometimes she puts herself out there a little bit too much because she's sweet um, and she does tend to get hurt. But this is the thing, see how her cup is closed? She's actually the only one in the suit whose cup is closed and it's because she's had to learn healthy boundaries to survive, basically. Um, but because she has kind of taken this time out to learn self-esteem and to learn healthy boundaries, she's now attracting healthy relationships. So this is... It's like coming back around, but this time it's going to be healthy and it's going to be balanced. You know, Aquarius, I think we will do an extended reading for this. So in the extended, I'm going to talk about um, your person, how they feel about you and what action they're going to take. Just looking at the bottom of the deck here, you have boundaries. I really feel... Um, because this came up in Libra's reading too, and they do tend to do this to me. Like, they group the readings together that have a similar message. Because <laughs> these have all been done in random order. You know what I mean? Um, so I feel like, especially this is the Queen of Cups energy, maybe you just needed more boundaries with this person. You know, because they could be, with this devil energy, they could be quite a formidable person. You know? Because Capricorn energy can be quite forceful. Um, so there could be something here, like it was necessary for you to get yourself into the Empress energy so you could hold your own with this person without like being subsumed into the relationship and losing your identity. Do you know what I mean? Because you are Aquarius. You've been born under that sign for a reason. You know, we're entering the age of Aquarius. You guys are like important. <laughs> Like, it's important for you not to lose yourselves. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to do an extended. What was I saying? Yeah, to talk more about your person, how they feel about you, and what actions they're going to take towards you. So, if you click the join, you can only watch it on YouTube um, as a member of the channel. So, if you click join, and then copy and paste the link, which is in the description box, if you paste that, then you'll find it. So what would you like a quick, whoa. Right, you're getting some signs about this person. God, this is a very intense connection. You have signs and you have connection. Um, with this card, it says your connection is eternal and unbreakable. And with the signs card, you're definitely getting some signs here. Like this person seems, they're saying true love. Definitely with some challenges. respect okay I do feel 
this is something and there's something in this relationship about like boundaries and like it was it was like the two of you were learning how to make this mutual do you know what i mean like for it to be equal i feel there's a lot of respect though like both of you have a lot of respect for the other obstacles <laughs> i can pick up the card yeah there's definitely been some obstacles but you guys are going to find a way around that okay and you have learned you guys have definitely been learning from each other you might be very very different you know that might have been one of the reasons it didn't work in the first place like with this conflict here because i only see a little bit of conflict you know so i'm going to jump into the extended aquarius um if i see you over there awesome if not thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the reading and take care aquarius lots of love